Hi, I'm Steph Edwards. I'm a doctor and I'm a pathologist. I'm actually a histopathologist um, and that is a doctor that specialises in studying tissues and cells um, to identify disease processes and uh, hopefully help with diagnosis and treatment. Thank you. I just want to ask you, why did you choose pathology? <laughs> it's, it's a question I get asked a lot. And I think the main reason people ask it is because people don't really know what pathology is or what it involves, even other people in the medical profession. Um, I also want to say that I think you get the impression that sometimes you're supposed to know exactly what you're supposed to do from quite a young age and you're supposed to go straight for it. And that's not what happens. You kind of find things along the way that lead you one way or another. Um, so I actually, after training in medicine, did surgery for a little bit. Um, and I really, really enjoyed it. I loved the hands-on side of it, but the the work-life balance was very, very difficult. Um, but during surgery, we had a really good um, relationship with our pathologists who we would send our surgical specimens to. And I got chatting to them and it just sounded like such an interesting specialty. Um, essentially, you are kind of puzzle solving, problem solving, you actually are looking at the, the basic building blocks of life. You're looking at the basic cells down the microscope and seeing exactly what's wrong. And it enables you to kind of say what might happen and tell the other doctors exactly what disease is happening. And that's actually quite fun. Um, it is, it's so interesting. Every day you see something different, something interesting, um, and you're kind of learning new stuff all the time. And it's it's really, really satisfying as well to see all the stuff that you've learned is actually kind of being of use and you're able to help, you know, the other doctors and all the patients who they subsequently see as well. Um, yeah, it's and it's it's just actually quite interesting and fun. And it's it's really fun to teach, and it's a really um kind of fast moving specialty we're kind of at the forefront of a lot of things about diagnosing and treating cancers for example um and it's it's nice to kind of feel that we're really making a difference even though we're not kind of front and center like from behind a little bit thank you i mean it's it's so key isn't it being able to diagnose and suggest the best treatments um and best of all that you're enjoying it i think that, oh, that's yeah. key to key to a good career is doing what you enjoy in life um wondered if you've got any top tips for for those who are watching this um have you got top tips for key stage three or gcse students who might be interested maybe in this area yeah i would definitely say um I, oh gosh, I, I wouldn't worry too much about it being a straight line of career progression. I think that's the thing. You kind of, I think sometimes, particularly when you're a bit younger, you kind of think I should know exactly what I need to do and this is how I should do it. And life doesn't work like that. That's not how it works. I think the most important thing is to just be engaged in what you do and be interested and be curious always be asking questions that's really important because you can learn loads of facts and they can be interesting and they can be kind of fun but the best way to retain information and learn stuff is to learn why things are important so for example talking about cells and things why is it important well it's important because it's the basic building block of life and it's gonna you know come up in so many different situations it's not just some abstract picture on a page this is real life. This is how, yeah, exactly. It, it's a 3D <laughs> thing. This is this is how how the world works and exists. And you know, if you can be curious enough to accept that we don't know everything, but but we are learning stuff every day, and that it's okay to not know everything. But um, I think that as long as you know that you have got the ability to kind of learn and explore and educate yourself I think that's the most important thing really oh thank you so much yeah wishing everyone some happy learning and wherever that takes you and at the same time you're learning um you're helping others as well what, what could be better thank you so much for your time